What's up YouTube? It's me, Justin. I'm an opera singer. Today's video is going to be a performance analysis of Miss Jennifer Nettles performing Oh Holy Night and Hallelujah live at Sirius XM. Let's go. heck okay there are so many things I thought were really captivating about just this part of the performance one I was paying a lot of attention to her mouth movement specifically because of how present her chest voice was granted of course she does have the help of a microphone to amplify the sound and of course post-production and everything however she did choose to carry her chest voice throughout a majority of this portion of the song so far. With that being said, I was paying particular attention to her lips. Now there are different ways that you can shape and maneuver your lips in order to get out a specific type of vowel or resonance. Your lips are definitely a part of your vocal canal, let's say, that just helps to get out the sound. It helps shape certain certain vowels and helps uh, produce a certain type of resonance and even timbre. And if you look throughout this performance, at least what we've watched now, if you look at her bottom lip, sometimes it kind of cuffs inward. Um, I believe mostly around the the letter W and maybe sometimes O, I can't recall. You'll see her bottom lip kind of cave in into her her bottom teeth and that gives a certain type of sound. And then you'll also see that her top lip on higher notes within our upper register will kind of move out of the way and show her teeth. And that of course is going to open your cavity, your vocal cavity in a very different way than if you were to bring that lip down and not show your upper teeth. I always encourage singers to look at different singers within different genres and see what they are doing with their mouth position in all parts of their registers in order to get out a certain sound. It can vary widely, singer to singer. What's important is what you can take away from what everyone is doing and even learn 
possibly what not to do, what doesn't work for, for the structure of your mouth or even the shape of your face. Second thing, I am not familiar, I don't think I'm familiar with Leonard Cohen's Oh Holy Night. I know Leonard Cohen does Hallelujah, but I don't know if he also does Oh Holy Night. Whatever the case, I appreciate the the rhythm of this cover for Oh Holy Night. I like how she is choosing to kind of settle and sit a bit longer on some notes versus, uh, I believe, the more traditional way of doing it. Long lay the world in sin. her pronunciation just in general is fantastic it's a bit more on the proper side in terms of you can very crystal clearly hear all of the vowels and the pingy resonance it goes right into you know the onset of the note which is great um, I would say it's a bit more on the brighter side too, and that definitely can be seen with the way she is choosing to shape her mouth. Sometimes she is singing on much more of a smile, again with her upper front teeth showing, and that is going to give a bit more of a nasally, brighter sound. That's going to really work in her advantage, especially considering how high she is singing and how much chest voice she is bringing up in that higher register. Last thing I wanted to give compliments to is her vibrato. It's controlled, it's, it's got a story to it. I love that in someone's vibrato. When you can just, you can just tell that the vibrato has so much to say alone. Oh my God, it's one of the best sounds ever. It just gives this old school soul texture vibe to to the performance that that just elevates it in a completely different way than than without it let's say so job well done truly he taught us to love one another his law is love and his god Chains shall he break, everyone is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns yes. of joy in grateful chorus raise we with all our hearts. Nice. When Christ was born, oh, night, divine, oh, night, oh, night, divine. Ooh, nice guitar. Okay, 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 okay. Loves the transition. These two songs are so easy to go one right into the another. Job well done. Wow, so you see what I'm talking about in terms of lip movement in order to produce a certain sound on a certain note. Very crystal clearly done here. Also, how wide she's opening her mouth 
to spew out those huge, huge notes. One thing I wanted to comment for the song, Oh Holy Night, and something I'm a bit particular about is the word divine. I tend to listen to how singers choose to sing this word throughout the song. The reason why I like to pay attention to this is because what often happens is singers will tend to mix or use the use both of the versions divine and divine. And for my personal preference, I would prefer to hear either or throughout the entire song. What I believe tends to happen is at the very beginning of the song when divine is first sung, oftentimes singers will say divine. And then later on in the song, they will modulate, let's say, to divine. I know it's a very small thing to point out, but for some reason, it really sticks out to my ear if I hear a singer going back and forth between the two or even starting with one and moving over to the other, especially because where it sits in the register, either vowel, i or e, can be easily sung. So for me, it's important to just hear that consistency. I heard divine the whole time and it was so beautiful. I also have to commend her on not just shooting up into that super high, you know, penultimate climax of a note on the second syllable of divine with a full on chess voice that might just not be in her register or that might just not be something she wants to do. What she is choosing to do here, giving the head voice on that upper note and her head voice is so present. That's something that's very hard to accomplish. Oh, night, divine. Oh, night. Oh, night, divine. I think is absolutely stunning. It doesn't take anything away from me um, for this performance, especially because of how much of a powerhouse her voice is on all of the other parts of the song. She's going pretty full force with this song, giving some light uh, takeaways at the ends of phrases, I believe on, on like the word night, just backing off ever so slightly on some words. But if you really pay attention, majority of what she is singing is full throttle chest voice. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I heard that a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do you? I do It starts like this the fourth, the fifth the minor fall and the major lift the baffled king composing hallelujah Woo! Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wish just for like one shot, one super quick clip that they would have panned to whoever was singing the harmony, just to give that person a little bit of recognition. All good, that was a nice surprise, especially because we haven't seen any other faces. I don't even think we saw the guitarist's face, just his hands moving. Do you notice what I'm talking about in terms of in terms of settling on some of these notes, elongating the duration of some notes in order to emphasize either that note or the one coming right after, giving some shape to the phrase. This is all very important to do, especially when you're doing your own cover. Yes, of course, you look to the original for inspiration, but of course you want to put your own twist on it. You, of course, have your own voice, but if you can change something up ever so slightly rhythmically and fully 
dedicate to that rhythmic change wherever you choose to put it, I think that takes your cover from one level to the next. She does that phenomenally. I fully feel like like she is very competent in what she is choosing to execute in terms of rhythmic, in terms of the phrase, what type of voice she's going to use throughout that phrase, going from one voice to the next. It's well thought out. Um, and a song like this, with as much chest voice as she's giving, with the phrasing and with where it sits in the register. All of these factors take a lot of practice and a lot of prior thinking to what you're going to do exactly when and where before a performance like this. I guarantee you this was all very well thought out before this performance. Job well done, Jennifer Nettles. A job well done, guitarist. Beautiful, beautiful performance. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and comment down below with a white heart if you made it this far. Also, make sure you check out my description box for ways you can get in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks, and or take a lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!